Okay, now we are going to measure inductance with the uh, MFJ analyzer. And to do this, I have installed uh, banana clips or uh, alligator clips uh, to the plugs there to make it a little bit easier to test. But of course, uh, one thing that I did not mention uh, when testing inductance and capacitance is you want to keep your leads as short as possible. And uh, does anyone know the answer uh, to why you want to do that? Okay, well, the answer is that uh, the longer the leads, you're actually measuring the inductance and capacitance of the uh, wire under test, uh, which may give you some false readings. So, uh, as you can see here, I've got a large coil. Uh, this is an experimental antenna that I'm trying to get ready for field day. Uh, so what we're going to do is install one of the alligator clips down here on the bottom end of the coil and install one way up here on the top end of the coil Turn our antenna analyzer on. Let it go through the diagnostic. Then we'll press the mode button once, twice, three times, and it will measure inductance in microhenries. And as you can see, at this frequency, we're already below the uh, X limit uh, reactance uh, lower band of 7 so it's not reading any inductance let me see if I can get it okay here at 114 megahertz I'm just uh, again just adjusting the tune knob there and we can see that we have an inductance of 0.035 microhenries and a reactance of 24 ohms. And I'll go down to the HF uh, portion of the spectrum here. See what it reads down there. There we go, 1.77 microhenries at 10 megahertz, or a reactance of 11, 11 ohms. So that's how you measure inductance with the MFJ analyzer.